The tree is generative and chaotic based on how the world is changing and what's going on in the world. That's what's exciting to me is that this piece will look certain ways in the future that I can't even predict because I don't know what's going to be on the news in the future. The way that I normally work is more like a painting almost, and that I'm using these very advanced tools to say something very specific versus writing an algorithm or creating a system to generate artwork. I wanted to try and do something that was almost a mix of those two. So the three different states in the piece are signal, noise, and then a choose violence sequence. The signal is kind of the scenario where we coexist with nature in a pure form. And then there is a noise dial that we have. The noise is pulling in clips and video feeds from many different sources and continually updating it as stats and stock tickers and all kinds of information. And it's really an analogy to the information overload that we have in society today. We all are able to choose the reality we live in. You can live in the reality where you're glued to this and oh my God, the world is ending and Donald Trump did this and Kamala Harris and blah, 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 and like freaking out. Or you can just put your phone down and go take a walk outside. And it's like, oh, I don't know. It's fine right now. We all exist together in the world, but we're all also in our own sort of like little reality. And I wanted to have the piece reflect both of those things. It shows things that are happening on a global scale, but you have the control to either turn that on or turn that off. The choose violence section is the fact that we often fight each other as humans. We've done that many times, but we do not have an unlimited amount of times that we can do that. We could truly fuck up the earth and like, you know, okay, wow, now the sky is torched and the ground is salted and whatever. The natural world and technology are obviously very intertwined and something that there's no way to separate out. The conversation around how these two fit together though could be more nuanced. And I wanted to do a work that was not pollution bad because I think it's like, well, that's obvious. But I think looked at the severity of this problem and our ability to overcome it in the future. And I am quite hopeful that technology will allow us to have, let's say, healthy symbiosis with nature. I believe that too will be something you will see more in the future where there's this kind of like ritual around digital experiences that people gather for and it's like the machine's doing something, the machine's saying something and it will be a weird shared human experience being provided by a machine.